people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking <laughs> very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> afraid of an old man. Uh, Just take it easy. Uh, <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, bros. Are you okay? I've been through worse. These are penguins, men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. There's Bruce. He'll help us. Bruce. Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think... Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. Shh, quiet! They've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. Get you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Where is he taking Ferris? I... I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stolen out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. Where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the New Year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. 
weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Theris Boyle! He's in Gothcorp last I saw! You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No! I... Uh, Gothcorp! I swear! Look, I've got the entry codes! I'll take those. If this no. goes sideways, you come running. Sure thing, boss. Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh... They're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab. Through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Penguin said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit, and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence... He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryodrill. Yeah? Victor, you have 
to let him go. I'm taking my wife. You can't stop me. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident. You don't know what you're talking about. Nothing matters. Do you understand? Nothing but my Nora. You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Laura. And that just leaves you. Please. You can save her. You just no, have to bypass no, no. the fire. No, Victor! She died! Oh. But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Oh. <sighs> 